If you're looking for Japanese Pokemon booster boxes, actually scratch that. If you're looking for cases of Japanese Pokemon booster boxes, look no further than omotenashitcg.com. They're an online store based in Japan, and not only do they offer great rates of Japanese Pokemon booster boxes in bulk, but they also offer international shipping for free if you make a purchase of 85 US dollars and above. That's not something I see from many Japanese, you know, online stores, especially selling Pokemon product. And if the purchase is above 150 US dollars, it's actually upgraded to free FedEx international shipping, so you really can't beat that. And since a lot of you love discount codes so much, I actually have a discount code this time. You can use Crystal for 5% off your order. And if you have any questions for them, you can reach out to them on Instagram. I'll put their handle on my screen. So in this video, not only do we have one booster box, but we also have two booster boxes of Shiny Treasure EX. So thank you, Omotenashi, for sponsoring this video. Just like any typical Japanese high class set, we're gonna have 10 booster packs with 10 cards per pack. And yes, the SR is guaranteed, unlike Korean booster boxes. So please keep that in mind, guys. This is my second time opening this set. And also we have a chance of pulling a God pack. I believe it's one per case. Still haven't had the uh, pleasure of pulling a God pack in Japanese yet, but maybe that'll change in this video. And I'm still chasing after a bunch of cards, especially that Charizard special art rare, and also that Iono. Very nice artist, by the way, who made that. Let's see if I can open my hands. Yep. And this time we do have a card trick. Typically Japanese Pokemon packs have like a one card trick, but for the high class, we have three cards in the front. So let's see what we pull. We have Pelipper, lots of beautiful artworks in this set, especially the baby shinies too. There's that Pikachu, which is very expensive for a baby shiny. I don't think I've ever seen one that price, especially. And we have our lovely reverse hollow. We're gonna see this again too in Chinese, anything that's printed in Japan, so Indonesian, Thai, etc. Our first EX, so every pack's gonna have an EX or higher as well. We have Great Tusk here with the ancient logo here. That's the first time we're actually seeing that. So that's pretty cool because in Scarlet and Violet EX, they did not have that logo. That logo was just introduced in Paradox Rift, AKA Ancient Roar and Future Flash. So a very interesting card trick we have here. And typically in the past two from other high class sets, we've had like energies as in the front. I remember that was from uh, Tag Team GX All-Stars, but now they've really changed things around. And it's funny too, because the pack art looks like a copy and paste of like Shiny Star V, Ultra Shiny GX. Very nice baby shiny to pull. You're guaranteed two to three, depending if you pull that shiny art rare or not. And wow, we also have Iron Shred. So this is the future Dawn fan. Grey Tusk is the ancient Dawn fan. Very nice. Will we get a Charizard? Is that foreshadowing something? I do not know. I'd love to pull that baby shiny Charmander as well. What other baby shinies that are good to pull? I love the Ditto actually and the shiny Electrode. Especially now playing the DLC. You know, if you have the shiny charm with you as well, for, it's a fun feeling bumping into random shinies in the game as well. Just like bumping into random shinies when opening this set. We have Slowbro Holographic. Gets this. Ooh, throwback. Oh, oh, there's our secret rare. Ooh, look at that, guys. We have Claude Sire. Very cute. Like, I like his face. It's just like this the whole time. Very purple is actually a good shade. At least it's something different. It's not like a weird shade of brown. Because sometimes with some Pokemon that are really popular, like Gengar or Garchomp, they just change the shade and you can barely tell if it's even shiny. I think um, Backscalibur is also kind of like that. When I first saw it, I was like, is that really shiny? I noticed the claws were like slightly different in color, but. I think the worst though is uh, Celeridge and Armor Rouge, the eye color, like the little flame that comes out of their eyes, like the only thing that changes. Otherwise, it barely even looks different. So that's really interesting. Let me know what your favorite shiny is in the Paldea region, guys, in the comments below. Reverse hollow there. And we have Ting Lu. So who knows, maybe that's the only secret rare in this box. Again, at least it is guaranteed in Japanese, so you don't have to worry about getting a no SR box. But if we're lucky, I noticed too, this is pretty common with these kind of sets. You can also pull a full art trainer or an SAR or maybe a gold card. The gold card has a very cool raised foil this time around. I'm really happy Pokemon changed things up a bit and it has a very nice teal background. So my theory is if you guys look at regular full arts from the Scarlet and Violet era, you'll also see that same teal color around them. I'm wondering if they're just recycling that. And we have Chen, Pia, Chen Pao. So another um, ruinous treasure from the Paldea region. Now we're just missing Chi Yu and Wu Qian. All right, on to the next pack here. So it's exciting though, we get to open two booster, uh, two booster boxes of this because the 10 packs, let me tell you, it flies by really fast, especially, you know, holiday sets tend to be really fun. You know, of course, our theory, a lot of people aren't too hyped about this set because, you know, shiny Pokemon have come here and there. Who knows, maybe next year's high class set will be even better. Maybe they're just using this year to prep 
for next time because it takes time to make beautiful artworks like we've seen in VMAX Climax, V Star Universe. Oh, look at that. We have our Lizadon, our Charizard, Terra Charizard EX in dark form. So it's really cool. Dark type, actually. So that's really nice. If we see the shiny one, it's going to be really cool because dark type, in my opinion, matches the shiny Charizard better than the regular Charizard. A lot of people were fighting for that in the beginning. But look, we got treated well in the high class set. So thank you, Pokemon, for that. I'm still a Charizard fan. I know Charizard cards have just been printed left and right. Some of us are very jaded by it. But Charizard's always been my favorite from the Kanto region. So if I do pull it, I will not complain. Holographic. Oh, wow, Rabska. Shiny Rabska. Cool shade of yellow there with its psychic dome. <laughs> always interesting contraption there. And a Coridon EX holo. Oh, holo. Very nice. So let's go ahead and sleeve that up. So that's baby shiny number two. It's We either get a third one or a shiny art rare. I'd love to actually see that. There's four of them in this set. I did explain a lot of, you know, what's contained in the set in the previous opening. Um, but if we're lucky to pull that, I'd love to pull um, the Woke Trio. Very adorable. A uh, shiny art rare. It's purple instead of the typical red. We have Vile Plume, Entei Hollow. Oh, okay, we got Tandem out. So just, there's our baby shiny, our third one and final one. And Alakazam by Mitsuhiro Arita. But it's okay, we have a second box. So this is very nice. Again, thank you, Omotenashi. Go follow them on Instagram, guys. Very good inventory they have on hand, especially if you like buying cases. Now on to our second to last pack. Not sure if we're expecting to pull anything else. Again, if we're lucky, we could get another trainer, but I'm not expecting too much. So let's see what here we have. Sprigatito, we have Shrudel, Charmander, very cute. A repeat from 151 Ditto, Scovillain, Crocolore, oh, and Quackwavel. Possum Bud's favorite. I know this is your guy. This is your homeboy. All right, last pack. Can we get another full art of what's it called? Secret rare or higher rarity interesting let's keep going i really want to see those gold cards in person because they look so impressive with that 3d foiling i think they took away the texture you know as a trade-off some people may not like that but i'm excited to see the new gimmicks of the new high class set so let's see what we have here Nekli. okay no extra secret where we just have the cloud side but it's okay we have skeledurge my evolution starter and don't go anywhere yet guys we have our second box now, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. But in case you skip the intro, which I know some people do apparently, I just want to make mention of the sponsor once more, omotenashitcg.com. Again, they're an online store based out in Japan, Saitama, Japan. Yes, like the One Punch Man. Um, but they offer great rates of Pokemon booster box cases. So if you're someone who likes to buy in bulk, if you like to collect sealed booster boxes, I highly recommend the rates, especially with that international shipping. Again, if you purchase products of 85 US dollars and above. Again, don't forget to use my discount code code crystal for five percent off so let's bring it on screen here our lovely shiny treasure ex not shiny treasures so people are leaving out the most important part of the name you know like how we had um ultra shiny gx shiny star v every time there's a little card gimmick they always make sure to include it in the high class set name so let's go on to our next set of 10 packs very fun to open at least the packs are easy to open if you guys watched my previous video of the latest simplified chinese packs the 25 card packs are so hard to open in person so it's nice not relying on my scissors all the time so three cards at the front here the suspense is back guys now we have another guaranteed sr maybe two if we're lucky so let's see what else we can get again a lot of the common and uncommon cards will be reprints from previous scarlet and violet sets another gets us holographic Star you with a nice, again, reverse hollow foil. They like to change it up every year. And we have our Pidgeot EX. What's your favorite reverse hollow, actually? I want, I want to know what you guys think. I don't think anything beats, honestly, that VMAX Climax Disco hollow. That one is really cool. Or actually the Ultra Shiny GX Cracked Ice hollow. That one is very, very prominent, and I do like it very much. Shut especially on the Japanese hollow foil. They always make these high class sets very fun because of that. And also don't forget guys, we could still be lucky and pull a God pack. I still have yet to witness that. I'm sure it's a great feeling when it happens. I did pull one off camera in Korean for Shiny Star V. I wish I really got that on camera. Uh, that was an experience. And I did get a Charizard from that as well. But let's see if we're lucky today as well. Either way, it's fun pulling Shiny Pokemon, not something you see in every set, so. Three to the front. We have some trainer cards here. Oin Cologne by Akira Komayama, one of my favorite artists. I like how they perfectly center the Pokemon and have nice bold outlines. It just makes them pop, you know, on the card, in my opinion. We have Entei, we have Vileplume, 
Palmat, and another Charizard, another Terra Lizardon, dark type. So very cool. I like how the Terra cards are also textured. It makes them feel a little bit more special. So that's pretty cool. All right, on to the next pack here, guys. Let's see what we can get. Almost halfway there. Again, these boxes fly because it's only 10 packs as opposed to the usual Japanese booster boxes that are 30 packs with five cards per pack, not typically 10. So let's see. I remember even uh, Tag Team GX All-Stars had like 11 cards. That was a very odd liar, but it's because of that energy. Oh, very nice. We have Nackley um, or Salt E. I don't know. Some people like to say NACL Salt. <laughs> so nice shiny there. And another Skeledurge EX. So let's go ahead and sleeve up our first baby shiny from this booster box. Again, it's nice being able to open two so we can really try our luck here with our god pack and also one of the chases. I'd love to pull another actually secret art rare of the, one of the trainers, whether it be Nimona or Arvin. They have very nice artworks, by the way. And Penny too, there's an Umbreon in the Penny one. Very cool in the front. Slowbro, our blue. Oh, this is very cute. We have Tatsugiri, even though this looks like a normal Tatsugiri. There's like three different colors of this Pokemon. The Sushi Pokemon <laughs> and Tinglu EX. Very adorable. I like how the orange actually contrasts with the blue. Also, don't underestimate. It's actually a dragon water type. It's actually pretty tough. Very high special attack stat, but very cute, very adorable. I'd love a plushie of one, actually. Tatsugiri, adorable. Pairs with Dondozo. Very dynamic duo in the Paldea region. We have the Paldean students. I'd love to see Paldea friends. Maybe that'll be something in the next high class set with Arvin, Penny, Nimona, etc. and the main character. So who knows? I'm very excited to see what Pokemon has in store for next year. Squawkabilly. I've heard a lot of people pulling the shiny Squawkabilly. Not something maybe not everyone wants to pull. That and also Glamoro. I think that was uh, Gita's ace Pokemon from the uh, Elite Four. The champ She's a champion, actually, of the Paldea region. We have Ionone. Will we put the special art rare? Not expecting anything. We have Pikachu, we have Garganacle, we have Celeridge, and we have Pachirisu, Meowscarada. Nice holographic there with the hollow foil. And also, guys, too, follow me on Instagram as well because I'm actually going to be giving away one booster box, you know, collaborating with Amotenashi TCG. Again, if you want to buy cases for a good price, also check them out. Use my discount code, Crystal, for 5% off in case you missed that in the early parts of the video. All right, we have Mimikyu here. Oh, that's really cute. Grievard. It's a baby shiny. I was going to say holographic. And we have Great Tusk here. Very nice baby shinies in this box, actually. So that's number three. So no shiny art rare, but it's okay. Maybe I'll witness it later on. At least the baby shinies have nice texturing. But you know what we haven't pulled yet, guys? Our secret rare. And possibly a second one if we're lucky. So maybe in this pack, maybe in the next pack. Let's see. Mouse hold. Got trainer card there. Gimme ghoul. Smell it. Jigglypuff, very excited to see what we could possibly get. Oracorio, Houndstone, Greed, and oh, it has to be in the last pack. Wow, Wolchan, okay, so no double stack box this time. We have one more pack. We'll pull our secret from this one. Who knows? It could really be anything at this point. Most likely a full art shiny. I guess maybe in a secret art rare shiny Pokemon. There's three of them. There's the Mew, the Gardevoir, the Charizard. Hopefully, let's see what we pull. Either way, I'm having fun opening this box. We have Scizor Holographic. We have Weavile Holographic, and we have, oh, all right, <laughs> Ted Sc to Toad Scroll, Shiny. It's really interesting, bright red. And then our last card, all right, Dash Bun. So there you have it, guys. There's our last Shiny Full Art, actually Secret Rare from the box. Again, check out Omotenashi. Dot com. They offer great prices on cases of Shiny Treasure EX as well as other Japanese booster boxes. Use my code CRYSTAL for 5% off your order. Free international shipping on $85 and above on your order. We are giving away one booster box of Shiny Treasure EX. Be sure to follow all the rules and I will be announcing the winner on December 30th. And I'll see you in the next video.